Legit Quest now introduces Zion, world's first real-time analyzer of case law using artificial intelligence. Now you can make iDraft with Legit Quest proprietary algorithm. To use this tool, you can select the code from here. Say if you have a high court judgment, you can select high court and then the code from here. After that, you simply need to copy and paste the judgment here in the box below. For instance, I have this judgment with me. I will simply copy the text of this judgment and paste it here and click on the Zion and Analyze. Now this feature in no time will break down the judgment into issue, facts, arguments, reasoning and decision. Here, you can see that in less than few seconds I have the issue of the judgment, the facts, the arguments, reasoning and decision. So you can click on the tabs here and read the relevant parts of the judgment. Also on the left hand side you can see we are providing with the overall accuracy along with accuracy of the individual components. As we move forward the accuracy and precision will keep improving. Moving on, LegitQuest has made a brand new feature called the timeline check which enables you to go down the history of any act vis-a-vis -vis the amendments done till date. For example, you can select any act from here. Say I click on the central act list and search for the special marriage act. Now once the act opens, you can select the timeline check. From the left hand side, you can select any section to view the amendments done. For instance, what text was inserted, what was substituted, omitted or added. For instance, in section 2, you can view the amendments done in section 2 in the year 96, 1969 and 1976. You simply click on the tabs here and you can see the amendments that have been done. I will show you 1969 also in which the amendments have been done and then 1976. You can Scroll the screen from here and see all the amendments. LegitQuest is world's only one-click insight system. How is it different from existing portals? Well, to begin with, head notes through which we read the cases are at times valuable but mostly do not have the right interpretation and also leaves important aspects of the judgment which needs to be analyzed and read into by the user. Also, head notes don't have precedent value, so in the end, the user has to read, understand and cite the text of the judgment as precedent in a court of law. Now, to overcome this issue, LegitQuest came up with a revolutionary feature called iDraft. Besides iDraft, there are various other paid features which makes it different from other online portals. Like we have infographics, we have notes and many other advanced features which we will show you in this video. Also, LegitQuest is especially designed to give you a wonderful user experience with the best UI UX by providing you with ease and research. So let's straight away get on how research is done. To begin with, we have different options of finding case laws. First is the citation. You can select your journal from here. Feed in your details and get the relevant judgment. Then we have judge's name. You can put in the name of the judge here and extract relevant data. Then we have party name option. You can search either by petitioner's name or by respondent's name. Now apart from these search options, we have act name option. Say you want to search for the Indian Penal Code and a particular section, say section 302. Now you will get all the case laws having section 302 of the IPC. Now we have the Acts list. Say you want to read the Indian Penal Code. You can search your Bear Act over here and open the Bear Act. If there is any particular section you want to read, you can simply select it from here and the system will automatically take you to that particular section. Now let's see the features that distinguishes LegitQuest from other portals. Suppose you want to search on X debito. You just key in your words in the search bar. Now here you can see the filters of court. We have Supreme Court, High Court and Tribunal. If you click on High Court, you will get all the High Court cases. If 
if you click on tribunal you will get all the tribunal cases then we have the filter by bench we have filter by year and by disposition in this disposition you get to know whether the case has been allowed dismissed or remitted back we do not want to spend time opening a case and then finding out whether the same has been allowed or not the other is filter within result say there is a word or a phrase that you want to find in this judgment you simply have to feed in here and just click on the search this filter down your query from the complete list then we have search within case option here you can look for words or phrases within judgment without opening the full text of the judgment moving on we have done descriptive analysis which means we have words like caution referred warning mentioned in front of the judgments caution means that the case has been distinguished somewhere warning means that we are giving you an analysis that you may not want to look at that case that has been overruled in future cases now once you open the case this is the real value get out of the case law name of the court party names nomenclature date of the judgment here you can see the bench citation and the name of the advocates representing the parties here you can see our infographic feature infographics is a case analytical feature that lets you see the various treatments of a case law here you can see the eye graphic of the judgment here as you can see this case law has been approved 5 times cited 152 times distinguished 3 times and referred 57 times now if you click on cited you will be able to see all the cases which has cited this judgment this comes chronologically from latest to oldest similarly you can see the cases that has approved distinguished and referred this particular case now let's see the i draft feature which is the flagship feature of legit quest once you open the judgment you can click on issue and it will directly take you to the issue of the case similarly you can click on facts the reasoning of the case the decision to read the relevant paragraphs so every time you select a tab it takes you one paragraph to the other this has been done for all the supreme court cases and many high court cases as well as an add on we have the option of copying a judgment or a relevant para with citation for this you can select the relevant part and choose the option of copy with citation i'll show you the relevant para gets copied in quotes followed by case name and citation then we have the option of copy as embedded you can select the relevant paragraph in this you get the case name followed by citation and the relevant para in quotes further while reading a judgment if you wish to highlight any relevant para you can simply select the text and highlight it you can also delete the highlighted text there is also an option to scribble say if you want to quickly note down any point while reading a judgment you can just select the relevant text or para and scribble down your thoughts over here Besides this we have the note option where you can make your own notes. Now in this judgment say I want to note only the issue of the judgment. I can select the issue of the judgment here. Say I want to note down the facts, the facts are here. If I want only the reasoning I can add the reasoning of the case. as a note and save legit quest also offers print out of supreme court high court and tribunal cases from the website directly or from website of legit quest lq provides you with one column and two column print out option 
this is how the one column judgment looks like that was the two column judgment and this is the one column judgment apart from this let's see the advanced search options once you go to the home screen you can see the advanced search techniques we have a proximity search for instance you want to type in compliance of mandatory provision within five words of each other now this search is all the case within the five words of each other then we have addition and subtraction search you can basically subtract a word you don't want to search like if you're finding guilty and murder we have three six five eight two eight three results but if you want cases without knife you can subtract knife, knife from here and you come down to two nine two nine zero results if you further want to subtract gun you can do it here and you can see we have come down to two five six five one results from the initial three six five eight three results we also have extendo search many times we write infringement infringe and many other terms so if you put an extender it will show you words like infringing infringe infringing infringement all of it together thank you for watching this video and for more information please feel free to contact